Okay, we're gonna be tying a hopper today. We're gonna start off with a size 10 must add. Go ahead and lay a simple little base layer down. Nothing fancy. All right, we're gonna take a peacock curl. This doesn't have to be pretty. Bring it up and we're gonna wrap around. I prefer to not put this in any type of hackle plier because it breaks it much easier. Now this part doesn't be perfect. It's okay if some of the green shines through. Doesn't matter one bit. Now when you get to the end here, I always put a plier on it just to hold it in place. Pretty frustrating when you get all the way to the end there and then you drop it. That's never fun and anybody that ties knows that. Get to where you're going, you just snap the excess off there. All right, then we're gonna grab piece of foam you want it to be about the gap to be about the width from the the point of the hook to the shank that's the perfect width and I like to hang mine about that same length about half the hook shank that's how big of a tail I prefer to put on these but before you do that and take your little zap a gap and put on it. Make sure you get it in the perfect spot there. Zap a gap isn't as fast as some glues, it takes a second, and that's all right. All right, we're gonna hit it with one wrap. Now, this part's pretty important. You want to make sure that this stays straight right there. Then we're gonna cross over one more. Then cross over once more and once more. Now when you're tying back, you want to stop right at the second the start of the second bubble going back. And I'll always end this last one right at the point of the hook there i've already got my deer hair in here i like to pull it out loosely like that now i have a ton of hair in here probably more than i needed that's okay and we're gonna make sure we grab these longer ones and pull them out and I like to have mine to about the end right there. So you're just going to set it in there. And you're going to wrap. And we're going to cinch that pretty tight. All right, then you can turn to the side and make sure everything is the way you want it. I'm gonna pull this one over here. And 
you want to make sure everything is even and straight that's a pretty important part of this now I've grabbed another little piece of foam here you want to make sure that this foam is seated perfectly in the middle I'm gonna give one more little cinch there it's not where I want it so I'm gonna slide it back just a hair we're gonna cut there cut there And cut across now this is for demonstration purposes if I was actually selling making this one to sell it obviously I would make it look a little tidier than this but this is literally just for demonstration purposes so that's the main part of the fly some people do extra things to it okay now for this last step we're going to fold some legs in half, two loose wraps over. Then we're going to pull this over the top. And I like to seat it right in that little gap right there. On both sides. And we're going to give it a few more wraps. And now is a good time to go ahead and whip finish if you're comfortable with what you got there. Make sure when you whip finish you pull that down really tight. Snip that free. I like to grab all four of these, pull them up, make sure that they are all perfectly even, and give it a little snip. Then I like to shorten the front a little shorter than the back. I like the rear to be about to this point right here. So then for the very final step, I'm gonna take some Sally Hansen hard as nails. And I just like to drip it down in there. Even though my whip's on the bottom, that's just my preferred method. Now you can see the super glue created a little bit of a not so good thing there all right that's pretty much it that's the GFI hopper it's extremely simple you can see I went a little wild with the super glue there so be careful when you're putting that glue in because that's the last thing you want is to ruin your fly